Several Bronx-based AAPI groups rallied today for more funding. Advocates tell CBS 2's Sosh Bedrosian it's time the growth of their communities is reflected in the city's budget. We could do uh, even like a mini exhibit. The basement of 2471 University Avenue in the Bronx might be an unexpected place of collaboration. It's the home of Mekong NYC, a group that's been helping Southeast Asians in the community for more than 11 years. Translating documents that they get in the mail, um, doing interpretation for appointments, anywhere from housing courts to immigration services. Cameron Nam, the campaign director for the group, says the critical work they provide oftentimes doesn't get the funding they need from the city. Well, we're stretched very thin, but we do so much impactful work. That's why Nan and others from Bronx-based AAPI organizations came together Wednesday to rally for more funding from the city. We're fighting for worker justice. We're fighting for housing reform. Coalition for Asian American Children and Families reports that in fiscal year 2022, AAPI-led and serving organizations received under 5% of city council discretionary dollars, while making up 18% of the population. The data they provided, CBS2 News also shows with a 5% AAPI population in the Bronx, only one organization received money from the budget of a total of $10,000. When we see a lack of investments, it tells us that we're not important enough. Here in Lily Yemen, residents say businesses, the population, and organizations continue to grow here. Now, advocates say they're hoping that this is reflected in the city's next year's budget. Mekong NYC says an investment Investment into them is an investment into uplifting the AAPI community. It's also time to invest to build these roots in communities that have been in the Bronx for over 20, 30, 40 plus years. And so, how, what does that investment actually mean and look like? In the University Heights section of the Bronx, Shosh Pedrosian, CBS 2 News.